Okay, let's do some 10 minute tournaments on chess.com. I'm gonna do five games. Um, I just really realized I didn't know that like that, that when you when you get a high enough rating on chess.com, you you could play with the masters and everybody. I wanna get in title Tuesday, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this account. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these five games first. And that and let's see what type of um see what type of rating they give you if you win five games straight as an advanced player. Cause I logged in as an advanced player, so no, they're not gonna give me easy opponent. But I can't lose. Cause I'm just starting this account, so first five games set your rating. So I gotta play careful these games. <laughs> of course, I'm just doing a regular. I mean, not a regular, but I'm doing a Sicilian. My regular opening, my main opening. So he's going for Maroxy buying off the top. Just showing me what he's doing. So I know I can get this dark square bishop on this dark diagonal. Dominate these dark squares. When this position, his, his best move might be B6, B3 in this position. Before I can go G6 and G7. <laughs> accelerated. It's called the dragon. It's not the accelerated dragon, but it kind of is. Usually the, the pawn will be on D6 and, and the knight will still be at this, but it's still accelerated dragon. And I wasn't even planning at all to go into this line. But once he, um, once he opened that dark square, once he opened the dark diagonal like that, if you could see that your bishop can take the diagonal, you, you want to sometimes be in shadow. Sometimes the pawn is on C6 and D4, I mean C3 and D4. So like, like that's a whole diagonal I can control. There's no pawn wall in the bishop's way. <laughs> At this point, aside from the queen, that makes her the strong, one of the strongest pieces on the board. So let me hold down that e5 square, make sure he doesn't even. Now he's gonna. Well, he doesn't even have the knight. He may have to transfer his other knight. Which I don't know if he has the wisdom to do to go knight to d2 and then f3. No, so he's going that way. Okay, so let me develop. Now I can get my white bishop out with tempo. Good game. Just watch Gukesh and Ding Loren play. Gukesh got it good. Okay, I didn't think he would push that way. That's very odd. Very strange. Very strange. He just gives me the pawn for nothing. It's very strange. I could use. I guess he thinks it opens my king, but I can use my bishop to replace the pawn that's not in front of my king. I can use my bishop to close my castle. I can use my bishop to protect my king. So if he's just gonna give me a pawn, I'll take it. Quick. Okay, that's what I thought. So we brought the white bishop out. I'll take another one. He's falling apart. So we got the first game. Um, I really, I really need to. Um, I really got to be careful though. I really may have to take that. No, I got to push this. I may, I got to be careful. Let me develop this white square bishop. I hate not to put that bishop on my king side. I might get in trouble because of that. I'm positionally in a little bit of trouble, even though I'm up the pawn, but I don't have to castle king side. Of course I won't. Hopefully he does, and he did. Let me start pushing these pawns so I can make sure this white bishop will be free. He's got to take the knight. I could pre-move that. I hate pre-moving on chess.com. If you pre-move, it's hard to take it back without a mouse. On your phone, it's, I shouldn't pre-move. But I want that white bishop to have some freedom. I'm not really... All right, so he wants, he wants to... Um, I could take that and then take his white bishop. Well, I don't take his white bishop, though, but I, I'm taking pawns. Give me that. And then I can castle my king, at least. Maybe, maybe I can't castle my king yet. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. If I do the check, he's gonna, well, I could 
do this. I could do the check like this. Check. I may have to cast him. That bishop is going to stay in the center like that. Now I'm gonna, I might keep my king in the center. Now I'm going to open up this bishop. Oh, he got a bead on my other white bishop right there. So I may have to castle. I do have to castle. I'm not scared to castle, though. His bishop and his rook is dangerous. It's a dangerous game for both of us. Very dangerous. I got to be careful. Okay, here he comes with the check. Of course, I moved him dark square. Ooh, I got to be careful. I just got to move back. I protect the checkmate. He may bring the dark square bishop and hit the rook. Okay. I gotta I gotta do something now. That bishop can't move where it's checkmate. So I can go here. He can't move that bishop, can he? No, he can't. He moves that bishop, he gets checkmated. So let me go right here. And hit that bishop again. Trick him out of his position now. He's got to block that with the queen. Still going to lose it eventually. Hopefully. Where can this queen go? This queen can go to F F4. Do I take? He queen goes to F4. I still can't take it. But this queen definitely. Am I up a piece? I'm up a whole piece. So remember, I got to remember that. That I may have to. I'm not up a piece. It's dead even. I just have the only advantage of the open file. That's a lost position. I guess he wants me to take, if I take it with the queen, then he checks me and takes my rook. Well, if I take it with the queen, he checks me and he takes my queen. But if I take it with the rook, it's a free piece. Take it with the rook. Now he's trying to be, I just, I just protect that easily. And now, now my white bishop is free. Now if I swing the other rook over, the game is over. One rook move and the game is over. That was a good game. He almost got me. If I would have made the wrong move, he would have got me in that position. He tried to get real smart for a little while. To the point he got his pawn back. But my position is just too strong. I made too many lines for my bishops, my dark square bishop, my white square bishop. They, they, those two bishops are too powerful. And I am up a whole piece. Oh, no, I just took a piece. Yeah, those bishops are too powerful. He tried to set me up by sacrificing that pawn in front of my king. He had a plan. It just, just didn't work. That queen move I made kind of stopped him, and he still had a better move. He put his bishop where the queen should have went. Still would have had me in a little trouble. Then I just would have moved the rook. And I still would have took the piece for free. But he could have done better than this. Now it's just over with. Very beautiful instructional game. When you you see my bishop on G on on I mean pardon me on, on F7 B7 with the queen there, those pieces kind of um that's a triangle. You you kind of when you see your pieces in that beautiful triangle like that, you know they're kind of coordinated. That's, that, that's a way to kind of keep coordination of your pieces. Let me just take that like that. I'm not in a rush. He get, it, he get his rook. He can't, he can't even take the bishop or he gets checkmated. He can't even take the rook or he gets checkmated. He's just trying stuff. He took the rook, checkmate. Now he could bring the rook back and try to stop the checkmate. Got one more move, sir. That's one down. Let's go for another one, y'all. Let's go straight into another one. We're doing five of these. You need five to get a rating. Let's see what my rating gonna be. 
I got to be careful now. They about they gonna stop giving me good player. That player was good, but he he didn't he underestimated me. He had he had about ten good moves that he made. I'm gonna nobody does the Rui Lopez. I'm I'm an Italian player. I used to do the Rui Lopez, but the Italian is more flexible than me. Doesn't give that was a bad move. That allows me that allows um. That, just, that doesn't allow his bishop to get to c5 and his knight to get to f6 like they're supposed to be in this position. Oh, he's not even going for the bishop c5. What type of opening is this? He's not even in the system. He's just doing stuff now. I got to punish this. Because he's not even doing the opening. He's just moving pieces. So this is going to be another victory, y'all. So that's going to be two games. I, can, I know already it's going to be a win. He's going to pin my knight. He better. I need H3. I need H3. What you got for me, sir? What does he have? He, his, his only move is to pin my knight. I guess he's think that. I guess he's debating on whether to do that. That was a bad move. Just that's a fork. So my pawn is forking his knight and his um bishop. There's no way there's nothing to do. Might as well give up the game now. He should have pinned my knight. I don't know why he didn't want to do that. I had a I had a I had a move to where I was gonna Okay. That was a good move. I could just back the bishop up. You still you still you still pin. I could just take the pawn, you still pin. Now you might lose both the pieces. Be not careful. Never panic. Never let nobody put you in a panic move. If they make a bad move, it's a bad move. Don't be afraid to punish it. Dang. Okay, he went there. So now he's about to try some desperate attack on me. Let me look at this. Somebody about to try some kamikaze desperation stuff. What can he do here? What can I do here? Take the bishop first. Well, I could take the knight with check and then take the bishop. Check. And if he tries to block it, I take the rook. I knew this game. I knew he had. He was in a bad opening. That was a terrible opening system that he chose. Just got to punish it. That's not even. He didn't. Even, he wasn't even in the opening. He was just pushing pieces. Some people think they can make their own opening and don't got to study. Now nah, you got to study, bro. We study theory. We study engines. We study and stop fish. We we, we memorizing lines. Now nah, you got to study. You can get that. I'll come back for you later. I saw that one. Forced the queen trade. Game is over. He shouldn't have done that. Not for a pawn. He need his queen. You don't trade your queen when you're losing pieces. He down the whole rook and a knight. Well, he down the whole rook. Clear. But he down the rook and a piece, I mean. A rook and a knight. So you can't trade your queen if you down the rook and a knight. So my next game is going to be really tough, surely. Yeah, yeah, what you doing there, sir? I take that. Check. And um, just simply castle. Nothing fancy. Even if you winning, you got to, even if I'm, even when you winning, sometimes you can slow down, make sense of the position. You don't always have to rush. See, he's, he, he's rushing. He's, I mean, what you going after that for? And you giving me that. Now you're not going to be able to save that. You got to try to bring your bishop down to all the way in my house. And this. You're not going to be able to save that. Now I'm going to hit your bishop with tempo. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your knight with the pawn. That's tempo because I'm hitting the bishop and nothing's protecting it. So once he moves the bishop, then I push. He didn't even move the bishop. So he's all out of whack. He might as well be Zai. 
I'm gonna take every piece he got except for his, except for his paws. Excuse me. That shit strangled a little bit. I ain't worried about that, man. I'll take that. Stop doing desperation moves. Play chess. I'll take that. Let me get that, too. I'm greedy like that. Okay, that's the second victory. Let's go for a third one. We ain't, we ain't hesitating. I do need a little break. I should have taken a break. That's all right. Take a small break after this one. Now, this one is going to be tough because he's in first place. I could tell by that queen move that he's underestimating me. He's going to lose, too. He just got a worse position. I should have pushed this pawn. Just ripped the center open. That's the only way to really challenge his queen. Before he get to develop any pieces. So he lost his white bishop off the off the rip, which which is terrible. He might back up and check me out. Get the queens off the board. I knew he was gonna do that. Ain't losing nothing, sir. Okay, so we developed this dark square bishop. I want to feel chat of this dark square bishop, but I can't. But I can't get it on that on that diagonal in two moves. I don't have to push my pawns to get it on that diagonal. Once he develops his dark square bishop, I'll get it on the right diagonal, cause I'll get it there with tempo. Cause I'll be hitting a B2 pawn. Okay, so we didn't develop the bishop. I should still get on that diagonal, but I'm not. I'm gonna develop my. I'm gonna develop a piece <coughs> before I improve another piece. I'd rather develop a piece. <coughs> hey, let me improve this piece. Do I have to? Mm -hmm. I see a better move. Hey, let me improve this piece. Do I need that? I'm not giving up my bishops. Let me just back it up. I got the bishop pair. Do not give up a bishop pair when you have it. I try to teach you how to use it, but try to keep both bishops. Um, keep the bishop pair. Very important. Okay, so we backed a piece up into a terrible square. I can jump right in there. <clears throat> now, if I get this dark square bishop, that pawn is just done. Now he can't protect the b7, the b2 pawn. Yeah, we can't protect it. I'ma hit you. I'ma hit you. Check. Now I'ma get two pawns. I see way far ahead. You gotta see far ahead. Let me get that. Let me get that too. That's why I say I get two pawns. But he's gonna he's gonna get his rook in my house though. But it's not terroristic. It's not too dangerous. Get some breathing room. Now let me get this palm push. I gotta start pushing this A palm, maybe. That's the palm I gotta start pushing. That's the extra palm that I have that's gonna call this game. That knight shouldn't be there. He can't take the pawn if I if I threaten the knight. He's gonna go down and threaten the bishop. I may need to push that pawn one more time. Um, yeah, let me keep pushing this pawn. Be careful, George. It's easy to lose when you're up a little bit. Now, now I go after this knight. 
I gotta get one of these nice. I, I don't gotta get rid of my bishops though. That was, I don't. I, I didn't like that move. I don't think that was a good move. You go right here. I think. I don't think he's gonna see that. I knew he wasn't gonna see that. Let me get that. I need to get some of these pieces off the board. I knew he wasn't gonna see that though. It was. It was kind of too complicated. Like he's not gonna see that. Let me get this right here. I put that on the wrong square. Should have put it on the e-file. That was a good move. He hits the pawn. He know I can't give up that pawn. So I have to go here. At least my back rank is safe with him only having one word. I can slow down a little bit. I got seven minutes. I don't have to rush and mess around and lose. So he jumps the knight back. He gives me the knight free. But he know, cause, cause, cause he don't see that. I could push on this knight. And then my bishop would stop the rook from checking me, checkmate me. So I get, I'm a, I might get a knight free. Let's see if he falls for it. He think he has a checkmate. He think I can't take his knight. That's why you don't put pieces out there like that. Cause now I could take your knight. So he put his knight, it's too loose. There's nothing protecting it. Now I can just take it. But if I take the knight, then he checks me. I bring the bishop back. Then he brings the knight. Then I back the other rook back. He didn't see that. That one pawn push blocked his, he couldn't see that. Yeah, sir, that's what I thought. Now let me get some breathing room for my own king so I can step my king out of here and stop his knight from jumping in too. So I'll do that, that's game. That's a game when he move right there. Now I'm out. I didn't have to come out. I could have let him check me first but I'm not afraid to just come all the way out. He doesn't have anything. If he had a white bishop or something, maybe. Now nah, that's gonna keep going, sir. You can have that one, though. You can gladly have that one. But this one will keep moving. Yes, sir. You won't stop that. And then I get this one here. And I can't get there before his knight comes, so I gotta go here. So I can stop the knight from moving. I wanna move the rook to B to B4, B5, and then take it down to B1. But if I go to B5, he'll bring the knight back to D2, and he'll protect B1. So I gotta leave the rook on the D file and just go bishop to B go bishop B4, then bishop C3. And that's how I get the that's how the game ends. <clears throat> We got two more after this. My rating gonna be master level playing like this, cuz. I mean, grandmaster level. I know it's gonna be master, but I might hit grandmaster level playing like this. Did he move? He moved. But what did he do? I can't see. Oh man. Oh, he offered a draw. Move that, no. The heck I look like? Queen. What if I didn't know how to operate this site? Almost, almost exited out the game by him doing that. I don't really know how to, I play on Lee Chess. I don't really know how to work chess.com, but the people I study with telling me to play here. See, if you play like that, you could play chess.com. You go to Title Tuesday, man. You could play with a Cairo and all that. He said, you could play with them. I said, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let me finish this, man. He's not going to let me finish this check. I'm about to checkmate this guy. Because he's, he's not going to. He's about to checkmate him. It's going to take a few moves. I take three moves. 
One, two, three. Get up out of here. He might well resign now. But I don't even think he see the checkmate, so he's going to keep playing. The best way to um learn how to see far ahead like that is to do tactics, man. Like I do tact, I, I used to do them every day. When I'm in study mode, I'll do like hours worth of tactics a day. So he made a square for that king to escape. That's why he did that. I'm gonna cut him off again. Cut him off right here. So I'm cutting off all the king squares before I attack it. I just don't wanna chase the king around and waste my time. I wanna checkmate him. So he pushed that pawn to give the king another escape square, but I cut that one off. So I cut that off right there. And then he trapped his king as checkmate. That's how you play chess, cuz. All right, y'all, we got two more. Let's go. Ain't no fear. You gotta play two more games to be rated. Ain't no fear out here. I might, I might win the tournament, and I'm just playing around with them. <laughs> I better look at what place I'm in. I might win this tournament, and I'm just messing around. I ain't messing around, but I'm not paying attention to the tournament. But I might win because I'm playing them so serious. I'm not messing around, though. I'm playing chess. And why aren't they giving me a game? Where am I in the tournament? Okay, here we go. I'm in sixth place. He in ninth place. Did he resign? I gotta stop touching buttons on this thing, man. These first five games, now if I lose a game after this, I might drop a few rating points, but if I lose a game now, that's hundreds of rating points. They'll start you off at 1,800 instead of 22. Start off at 22, that's give me more confidence to keep this account. So I'm in Italian again, of course. Italian with white, Sicilian with black. That those my that's my main repertoire. Most of the time it's on um, Carol Khan with black, but Carol Khan, everybody know it. There's a Fianchetto version of the Carol Khan, but Carol Khan is nah. I'll go and do that on the classical game. All right, now that now now he's playing the right move. Okay, so that knight came out, so he in the two knights. That's the right move though. I could castle in this move. Or I can go, but the main move is, is d3. And then, then c3. He's gonna bring the bishop out to c5. Then I go c3. Then he goes e, Then he goes d6. Then I castle, then he goes g4. Then I go knight to d2. Then he goes bishop e2. Then I go rook e1. Then he castles and I bring the knight back to f1. Then I gotta see what he does after that. That's the line. My line is h3 when it's in there, knight to g3. See that? Here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. But I could castle now. People used to play knight g5 in this position. Oh, I didn't expect that. Of course, I won't give up my bishop. Never give up your bishop. Never give up your white bishop. But I didn't expect that. Um, I could sacrifice the bishop just to make his king move. That's a, that's a move. I could sacrifice, I could hit the king, then I could push, then he'll sacrifice his bishop back. So I can't do that. Yeah, don't give up your bishop, just move it up and then tuck it away on c2, that's where it belongs. That's why I went e3, tuck it away right here. Now the threat of b, if b4 is there, and he didn't see it, did he move? I hope he moved. I hope he doesn't see B4. Did he move? Is my screen froze? He moved. He didn't see B4. All right, so he may have just lost with that move. Now, if I push, he's got to do something with the dark square bishop. He just can't take the pawn, can he? If he he's still gonna have to do something with the dark square. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. He'll get a he'll get a um he'll get a tempo, and I won't be. Let me see. If I push. He takes, I take, he takes the pawn with the knight. I take the pawn back and I have an extra pawn right there on C5, that's good. But if I push and he takes, yeah, I'll push. I like that. I like that. 
wait, I could just take back. I don't even have to do that. I still get the um, I still get the piece. I forgot my bishop is protecting e4, so I could just take back if he takes it. Regardless, he loses a piece. Even if he trades the queen, he loses a piece. Now he can just take a pawn. That's it. That's it, sir. That's how you play chess. Now let me continue to develop. Okay. Now do I want to give him a pawn? Yeah, let me just give him a pawn. Um, let me develop this bishop here. Force him to take that. Let me develop this bishop here. Force him to take the pawn. Then I'll pin it with the, oh, it doesn't work. Damn. I saw it too late. But he gets a check on my king. So it doesn't really work. Damn. I hope he doesn't hope damn he took it too. I was hoping he didn't take it. Damn. Now I gotta change my whole plan. Shit. It's alright. I'm up a piece. Damn, I was gonna lose a pawn regardless. He could have taken another pawn than that one. I was gonna move my rook behind the knight. But I forgot, I didn't, I forgot, I didn't look at the F2 check. I didn't want to go into that. I still could have done that, but I'll just hide the king here. I'm not even going to mess with his e-pawn. I'm going to fight around it. And, and another benefit of the bishop to A3 was to stop him from castling. Now he's trying to castle. Why would he do that? Oh, he's trying to castle. I'm not going to let you castle, though. I don't care what you do. So now he wants to push the other pawn, then he can castle. If he pushes the C pawn on the bishop, that's what he's trying to do. Oh, he wanted to check me. That doesn't do anything. Yes, it does. I got to move this king. So you be careful, because if I block that with the bishop, he takes, I take, and he checks me, and he takes the rook. If I step the king up, he can't do anything. <clears throat> he trying, he trying hard, too. Now he has to move the knight. So my king is becoming a powerful piece. It's, it's, it's beautiful to find a position to when you need the king. And right now I need him. So he wants that bishop. What if I take his knight first? I take his knight first since I have tempo on this rook. Now he has to move the rook. Okay, he didn't see that. He's moving too far. He's he, he trying to fight. All right, so he checks me. I, all I got to do is don't step into it. Oh, I got to step into a king check, don't I? So he's going to get the rook back. And that's okay. Well, it's not a check, though. So he doesn't get the rook back. Now, let me get my bishop out of there. I'm up too many pieces now. He just slowly losing. Let me get up out of here. So he gets the rook, though. No, he doesn't get the rook. No, you don't. You don't get nothing. We protect the bishop. He doesn't get anything. So what am I up? Yeah, let me get that too. That doesn't, oh man, that hurt. What am I up though? So I'm up, I'm only up a piece. I'm only up a piece. I gotta take that with the king. If I take, I could take it with the pawn. If I take it with the pawn, he comes down with the check. Then he gets another pawn. I don't, I'm not giving him no more. So I'm gonna take it with the king. I'm giving him too much. Play. Way too much. Damn. That hurt like dirt. Still got the winning position, but this dude is fighting back like a tyrant. But my position is still winning. It's even, too. He evened the game up. That was deep. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Mm -mm -mm. But this pawn right here is just too, it's going to be too much. I really believe that. He's not going to be able to do nothing with that past pawn right there. That thing is going to make the difference. Let me go here with tempo and keep pushing that pawn. That baby is going to make the difference.
I'm gonna take that. Just so I know the pawn is gonna run. Can't stop it. He's, I'm gonna cut his king off as soon as he makes one step. I'm gonna cut it off and he's gonna resign after that. So that was a tough game. Yep, that's a resignable game right there. I'm not letting this king step over. This pawn is just, I'm just gonna go take his rook slowly. Okay, he should have kept checking me. That was a bad move he just made. He should have kept checking. Now, hmm. Now I have to. Now I have to do make the right move. I have to get over here. <clears throat> I can't make. If I play too slow, he'll. But the, his pawns being double like that, it, it, he has no advantage on that side. So he has no counterplay. If those pawns weren't doubled, he has a little counterplay. But this move right there, that's too much. Yeah, that's just, that's just, now he's going to try to block it with the rook. And once I go here, then he steps back and I step here, it's over. I gotta win one more, y'all. One more game, George. Queen. Okay, so now it's just a matter of time. Um, I don't know what he's trying to do. Let me go get this pawn too. I better be careful. all that but he has another pawn that we had another pawn now it's really over I'm gonna take everything and then he's gonna he's gonna try to push that pawn and he'll get he'll he'll get my rook but I'll just get another queen See, I just give him all that simplified the game. He, even if he takes that, still get a queen. See how, see how beautiful that is? Now it's a queen against nothing. Thank you. We got one more, y'all. I think I'm going to save this last one. I'm going to study before I do this last. I'm going to do the last one. Darn it. If I lose this last game, I'm going to be so damn mad. I'm gonna take a break though before I do this last one. So I really just wanted to do five games. I'm gonna take a three second break. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> I ain't playing with them. I ain't skirt. All right, come on, Fooder. He's number nine, I'm number five. Come on, George, you got this. Oh, he did A6. He think he Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen does A6. <clears throat> Shadow boxing for a little while. Now, let's take the center. Let's just take the center. Okay, so he, he believes. Develop. Okay. How do I want to play this? Do I want to... Sacrifice a pawn right now. Nope. Don't want to bring out the white bishop. Yep. I'm in a I'm in a good Carol Khan position right now. Do I want to keep the white bishop and stop him from pending the knight? Yep. Okay. Don't want to go e6. Yep. So I could develop my dark square bishop. But do I want to go c6 first or a3? I might go a3 because I might want to go c5 instantly. So I'm going to go a3. a6, I mean, and just see what he does. He wants to trade the bishop. I have a choice. He took it like that. That was interesting. Push the pawn now. Let me develop first. 
but I can't go C5 now. And it's, and it's no problem. I don't see any threats. He doesn't have his white bishop. But I don't like his knight jumping into um, E5. So I'll develop my knight first. Can't lose this one. He's much faster. He's a minute ahead of me right now. But that's because he played that awkward opening. His position is a little worse, but well, his position isn't worse, but technically it is that those center pawns aren't justified unless he takes that. Okay, I knew he would. Of course, I developed a dark square bishop. He's going to push on the bishop. I just put it back. That's why I went a6. So he can't further chase that bishop. Now I got a castle. Okay, so let me get this rook on this file with tempo. Since he made that bad move like that. He's making bad move. I'm playing very strong. Okay, let me castle. I don't have to castle. Or do I? Do I have to castle? Yep. I felt like I didn't have to. I wanted to get that knight into C4 so bad, but it's going to get there regardless. Because he doesn't have his white bishop, so I'm going to take advantage of his white squares on this king side if I can. Hopefully he doesn't jump his knight. I don't think he's going to go backwards to D2. I don't think he has that much positional awareness. To back his knight up and stop me from jumping in a c4 and he didn't he, he his mind is trading the rooks but no i want the knight there very strong outpost for that knight um he's playing he, i know he's a good player so i'm really just it's all about position okay so i really don't want his dark square bishop but i really don't want him um chasing his knight away so I got a fork on this queen and this if I can um if I can get my queen lifted, I got a fork on this queen and this rook. Not anymore. But I still gotta get this queen lifted. But now Hmm. I may wanna back the dark square bishop all the way back and make a battery. But that might be too slow. I don't know if that's too slow. Back to dark square bishop all the way back. Okay, so he chose he chose violence. That's the wrong move though. Because um, let me see. If I lift the queen, then he takes the knight, then I take back. Then his knight is hanging, he takes with the rook, I take back, he takes with the queen, I take his knight. Yeah, let's see how this is about to get complicated. Damn, I shouldn't play that complicated, though. Do I have to play that complicated? Hmm. Damn. Do I have to play that complicated? Because you can also jump his knight into the center. I take. He takes, I take. <clears throat> do I want to get that damn complicated? I do. I do. Damn, it's about to get complicated. I knew he would do that. Let's go. Let's see if he saw what I saw. Let's see who saw the most. I could take that. He should have taken that with his rook, so he just made a big mistake. He definitely should have taken that with his rook. That was a huge mistake. And what I want is his dark square bishop. I think I want the bit. No, I got to take the knight so I can threaten hitting the queen. So with the tempo on the queen. So, um, yeah, he made a mistake. He should have went to the line that I was afraid of, which was the rook taking the knight. Then I would have taken this knight and ripped his king side open with that battery. But that battery was just a little too much. Um, Now, he's he's okay. But this check and the way I'm about to do his king, it's going to it might it's going to give me a big advantage. But the question is, do I want to take the rook first? Let me see. Yeah, he's about to lose a whole piece. Check. Yeah, but he loses a piece, doesn't he? Check. I did that smart as fuck, man. Excuse my language. 
Give me my peas. That's a freebie. Damn, that was brilliant. Now what is he gonna do? Block the queen with the rook? I'll get out of there. Oh, he traded pieces. So I'm up a piece. How many pawns I got? Four, five, six, seven. The pawns are even. So I gotta get back. Oh, he resigned. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it. What's my rating? 1102. No, that's no, that's not it. That can't be my rating. That's how they do this game. I win five games and y'all give me, a, I, gotta, I guess I gotta keep winning. So let me go look at my profile there. Let's look at something. Let's see how this site really works. Cause I ain't, let me, let me, um, I, I just don't push next game. Leave the tournament. I will stay enrolled in this arena. Are you sure you wanna leave? Yeah, I wanna leave. I just can't push the next game button, huh? Yeah, I want to leave. I can't. Um, I want to look at my arm. Um, I want to look at my book. My, let me see me go home. I want to look at my profile after those games. Um, that was that was brutal. I just killed everybody. I want to see my rating. How do I do that? Okay, profile. Okay, so it's not going to show it. I'm going to still share those games, though. That was insane. Damn. Should I review the game? See what see what type of... Um... Yeah, they do got me. That's crazy. If you got to climb up from that, from the bottom on chess.com, no. I don't think they do it like that. But um, I'll share these and okay. So the next next time I stream, I'll stream from here and we do five more games and cause that's that shouldn't be like that. That rating should be way like. Let me look at one of these games and see what level I play. Um, let me look at my stats. Five games. I haven't done anything else on this account yet. So the stats don't show anything. Um, let me go home again. Play boss, play a friend, daily game, zero, completed game, review. Um, let's do an analysis of this game. Oh, it's doing it now. Okay. We each had one great move. I had nine best moves. He had one blunder. I didn't have any blunders the first game. This is how you learn from your games. You and I'll analyze it further, but right now, um, all right. So he did good. We both we both played very even that first game, but I think he blundered at the end. That's why it's that's why it's like that. Um, let me analyze another game. I mean, let me see the um. At least that part of it from another game. I'm not going to fully analyze it yet. Oh, wow. You've used your free game review, so I should have looked at that deeper. Okay, so I'll have to I'll have to subscribe to this. So Okay, so this site is a little deeper. But that was fun. I'm going to keep from this site. We'll start again from here. And um, peace. I'll, 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 am I playing? No, that's not me. I'll keep in touch. Peace.